We got another Stark Florida driver right here, Jason Garver in the 01S. Another driver making his way to Deep South Speedway, starting in the number four spot. Row three, you know his name out of the modified world. Very well known here throughout the Gulf Coast area. He's driving the 7P car tonight, starting inside of row three. He's out of McHenry, Mississippi, Mr. Travis Marsh. Travis Marsh. And to his outside, he's out of Archer, Florida. Another driver making the trip to Deep South Speedway. Car number 33, Mr. Kevin Durden. Kevin Durden. And this car right here, folks, he closed out our season in November with the big win in the pure stock division. He's been running very successful here on the Gulf Coast. He's a local guy from Silver Hill, Alabama. Another driver to say I'm proud of. He's from my hometown, number 121, Mr. Brian Berger. Brian Berger. Row four, he's out of Baldwin, Mississippi. Baldwin, Mississippi. He's in the 09. He's had a strong performance this weekend. Mr. Johnny Pinnell. Johnny Pinnell. Row five, he's out of Van Cleve, Mississippi. Starts inside the row. Car number 11, Shannon Fletcher. Shannon Fletcher. All right, starting in row five on the outside. In the number 10 car, he's had a strong performance tonight in the street stock division. Car number 10, Chad Robinson, one of our past champions from last season out of Mobile, Alabama. Row six, he was your factory stock champ here last season. He's in the 0-1 car out of Gulfport, Mississippi, Dustin Ladner. And to his outside, he comes from Okeechobee, Florida. Big trip here to the Speedway. Had a good run last night, looking to be in contention tonight. The 17 car, Mr. Trent Wilson. Trent Wilson. And he's another one of the favorites here on the Gulf Coast. He's been pretty strong here the last couple weeks we've raced. He starts inside of row seven. He's out of Jay, Florida. Car number 24, Stephen Fretwell. And he's coming off a big win over at Southern Raceway. He's had a strong run already in street stock tonight. He's pulling the double duty. Keep your eye on this young man right here, folks. Jay, Florida's Wyatt Parker, car number eight. Row eight, it's gonna be the inside, car number 7K. He's out of Troy, Alabama. Jerry Lewis, Jerry Lewis. And to the outside of row number eight, he's out of Hillsboro, Alabama. He starts in the R25 tonight, Mr. Dusty Richard, Dusty Richard. Row nine, I know some folks down here on this front row behind the flag stand's gonna jump up on this one. He starts inside in the 25S Ocean Springs, Mississippi James Woods. Row number nine, he comes out of Centronelle, Alabama. His middle name, I can't say over the speaker, but he's in the 41 car, Mr. Billy Walker. Row number 10, young man has been on a streak here at Deep South Speedway. Been putting on some wins over in that Florida Gulf Coast at Southern Raceway as well. Number B24, keep your eye on him, folks. He's back in the 10th row, but he's going to work towards the front, I'm sure. Mr. Owen Barnhill. All right, outside of row number 10, he comes another driver from Archer, Florida. These guys have been on a roll here this weekend. We just celebrated him down in Victory Lane with a, with a picture there, car 56, Patrick Williams. Row number 11 on the inside. He comes out of Waynesboro, Mississippi. He's in the car number three. It is Blake McNeil. And this is another local favorite driver. Been racing many years here. He's in the 
in, outside of row number 11, you'll ne recognize that number 12.5, Mr. Josh Benton out of Pensacola, Florida. Row 12, he comes out of Century, Florida. He's in the number 2V, Mr. John Victor. And another local racer worked his way last night to a top three finish in his heat race to make the transfer. He's running a memory number this year, car 45 in memory of Mr. Jim Click, for past racer here who passed away at Deep South Speedway for many, many years. Chris Hartman, Loxley, Alabama, number 45 in memory of Jim Click. Row 13, he'll go from the inside. He's out of Bolton, Alabama. He's in the L1 car, Mr. Lucas Horton. Lucas Horton, he worked his way in tonight into the show. And next to him, another local favorite here, folks. He's in that familiar number 5H, 5H car. He's out of Milton, Florida, Josh Howell. All right, he's probably got the most unique looking car in the field. He worked his way into the field tonight. He's back there in row 14 in the 114. Mr. Chad Denmark out of Centronelle, Alabama. And he had a great run here in one of the B-Mains tonight, that black number 72. I don't have a city or state on him, but the driver, Mr. Ron Hill, keep your eyes on him, put on a great show there last night and in the B-Main tonight. And we're to that back row, the final two that made their way in. Tonight, he starts inside of the row, car number 19, Mr. Michael Williams. And this is gonna be a lady's favorite right here tonight. She's the only female in the field. She starts in that tail end position, but she is one heck of a race driver. Keep your eyes on her, folks. She's out of past Christian, Mississippi, car 26, Stephanie Cooper. And that is your field for tonight's Forever 51 shootout race in your pure stocks and factory stocks. Fans, Mr. Kenny Bullard is our flagman here. He's going to display something tonight that these drivers should not have a problem seeing is who's coming to that checkered flag. Check that big one out that he's going to wave to the winner tonight.
All right, here's what we've been waiting for. Tension drivers in the pit area. Factory stock, pure stocks. We need you lined up, turn four. Factory stocks, pure stocks. We need you lined up for the Forever 51 feature race tonight. The highlight of the program this weekend, 51 laps, $5,100 to the winner, 30 cars starting this event. We need you lined up and ready for your feature. All right, fans, you're going to see these teams starting to bring their equipment tires down onto the pit road. As we said earlier, the cars have to pit on that exit road in the infield. They cannot leave the track. If they do, they're out of the race. That is part of the rule package here. So you will see them coming down. They're going to have equipment tires. I'm sure probably some fuel and water stuff there, but uh, they have to do their servicing down on this pit exit road here at the Speedway. Also, right now, folks, uh, you can check out our Facebook page. We do have our updated scheduling posted there. As we were saying earlier, right now, we are scheduled not to race again till May 22nd. I don't know if that will change or not. Promoter Ryan Carpenter and Billy Roberson uh, make a decision on that. But uh, right now, we are scheduled off till May 22nd, which will have 604 late models, modifieds, street stock, pure stock, factory stock, and junior bombers on that schedule for that night. And then the very next weekend, May 29th, we'll race back to back. That is the Memorial Day weekend Shine Run Series. Shine Run Series coming up starting that weekend here at Deep South Speedway and at Southern Raceway in Milton, Florida that weekend. So keep those dates in mind here towards the end of the month. We come back on June the 12th. We race the 12th, June 26th. The next Shine Run Series race is July the 3rd, right before July the 4th. That'll be a huge night, I'm sure, with fireworks coming here at the Speedway. July 17th, and then, hey, keep this one in mind, folks. July 30th and 31st, the USCS Sprint Cars two-day show back here at the Speedway. This will be their second visit this season, July 30th and 31st. The Outlaw Wing 360 Sprint Cars back in the house, July 30th and 31st, with all of our support division racing going on. 
So those are just some of the dates coming up. We do race into November. We have that big closeout 100-lap race weekend back in November. That's scheduled November 18th, 19th, and 20th, the Deep South 100 for the 604. Great race in USA late models, just like we did last season to close out the close out the year. The season itself ends then. So a lot of racing in between that. So stay posted on Deep South Speedway on our Facebook page as we keep that updated and keep the information coming to you there for the weekend. Weekends ahead, that is. So, all right, I think they're doing some counting here on the tickets. We have cut off the selling on the 50-50. They're doing the counting. As soon as we get a winning number here and the amount, we'll be calling that out. Once again, factory stock, pure stock drivers, we need you in turn four. Turn four. All right, fans, before we kick this thing off tonight, I want to make mention one more time of our sponsors here for this Forever 51 weekend. Prescott Gas out of Jay, Florida. Richborg Transmissions, Joe Richborg. Slay Mobile Homes, Mr. Bo Slay. Workman's Diesel, Johnny Workman. Hunt the Front Racing Team, Jonathan Joyner, Joseph Joyner, Jesse Ink. Inkatron, Jason Barnhill with Flow Control Plumbing, Little Bitty's Tow Service, Foley, Alabama, MC Equipment Services, Mr. Jake Moore, Boone's Kitchen and Bath, Mr. Sean Pierce, appreciate those guys, Guy Brothers Roofing, Jason Guy. Crawford Construction, Mr. John Crawford, been a big, big help here during this event this weekend. Appreciate you, John. And new coming aboard to us, Southland Clearing and Hauling, Mr. Chris Polk. Fast Track Supply. B&B &B Auto Wreckers out of Centronelle, Alabama. Project X Race Cars. CBRC, Chris Bayhi Race Cars. Saturday Night Signs. Statement Race Cars, Statement Race Cars. Combs Striping. And Airport Sports Center, Mr. Stephen Brantley. Those are our sponsors. Stepping up here for the big show this weekend, we certainly appreciate each and every one of you and your support as we get ready to bring the big show here alive in just a few moments. we got the drivers getting set in the staging area.
All right, race fans. We're going to bring these cars down. These are your 30 drivers who have worked it through the weekend to get to the point here for the big show tonight. Your starting lineup's fixing to pull down here onto the front straightaway. You'll get to see the cars. Check them out. Most of you was not here last night, didn't get to see the heat race action, which was just a, just a great racing event last night in all those divisions. Some, some very close race finishes. Tough competition. This, this feature should be an awesome race. And we're going to get ready to roll them down here to the speedway. Getting them lined up. And ready for the start here. 51 laps. $5,100 to the winner tonight. Not to mention we have got one beautiful trophy. One beautiful trophy going to that winner that will be coming out for display. In victory lane tonight. Fans also, just uh, so you'll be prepared, uh, we're going to bring these cars down on the front straightaway. We're going to get them rolling out. We're going to have a uh, honoring lap with the 51 car, Chandler Shaw's car out front. And then we're going to go into a four-wide salute. And I mentioned earlier, when we go into that four-wide salute, I'd like everyone to please stand, put five fingers up on your left hand, and one on your right when we go to the four-wide salute. But there is the 51 car. Mr. Bo Slay's at the wheel tonight, but that is Chandler Shaw's 51 car he built himself. All right, so we are going to do this a three-wide. We're going to do a three-wide salute instead of four. So when they come back around on that pace lap, everybody with the five on the left hand, one finger on the right. Honoring Chandler Shaw.
Well, race fans, these are the 30 drivers who've earned their way into the Forever 51 Memorial. Please give them a big round of applause. Let them know you appreciate them. They're here to put on a show for you tonight. One that you don't get to see very often here with 30 cars starting in a field in pure stock and factory stock. And we're going to start the memorial lap when they come back around. Stick those fingers up. Five on the left hand, one on the right. Here in honor of Chandler Shaw. Here they come, folks. Get your hands up in the air. Five on the left, one on the right. Honoring Chandler Shaw here in the Forever 51 Memorial race show. One of the prettiest sights you'll see in racing right there when they're all stacked up together. Chandler Shaw smiling down on us tonight. They're going to make it around one more time. Who's your favorite driver? Show them some love when they come around. Cheer them on. Clap for them. They're fixing to turn it loose here in the next few laps for 51 hard-fought laps and $5,100 going to one of these 30 drivers right here. Give it up for them one more time, folks. Wave them on. They like to see that. This time we pull the 51 car out front. He's going to the front of the field. And we're going to wave the big checkered flag right here one more time for Chandler Shaw, folks. going to get them stacked up and ready to go racing now. 51 laps coming up here in the Forever 51 Pure Stock Factory Stock Challenge shootout tonight.
All right, we're going to get the two to go signal right here. Two to go before we come back to the green flag. Two laps before green. Here we go, one to go signal coming back to the green. <clears throat> we do say, please stay off of that front fence row. Please stay off of the fence row. And we do ask that you please stay seated so the video crews can get a good shot here of the, crowd, of the cars coming down the front straightaway. But we're ready to go racing lights out. 51 laps, folks, here in the Pure Stock Factory Stock Challenge forever. 51 race. Deep South Speedway style. Here we go, folks. Off of four. Green flag goes. We're racing. Beauchelet in the 51 car. Tucker Bird in the 112s right there. Then comes Jeffrey Gaunt in the 43 car. Zero one, Jason Garver. They're going to work back to lap number one here at the start finish line second place battle between tucker bird jeffrey gaunt jason garver durden back there still second and third side by side as they work the back straight away Beauchelet out front we got a car spun billy walker goes around in the 41 car he's still moving but we go to caution caution on the speedway Billy Walker's going to have to stay straight on through the race here. He can't have another caution. It'll take him out. Two spin rule. If they go unspin, unassisted, it takes you out of the race. Walker with one now. Bo Slade leads the way. Tucker Bird in the number two spot. Jeffrey Gaunt third. Jason Garver fourth, Kevin Durden in the 33, running in your top five. Then we've got Johnny Pinnell in the 09, 7P, Travis Marsh, Brian Berger in the 121, Dustin Ladner in the 01, Chad Robinson rounding out your top 10 currently. Track officials getting this back in field, set back to positions where they belong. This race is transponder scored, so we know where they're supposed to be. All right, we'll get them double stacked behind the leader now. Delaware restart. Tucker Bird looks like he's going to stay to that low side in the 112 in the number two spot. One lap out of the 51, 50 to go, 50 to go.
All right, here we go. Lights out, coming back to the green. We'll be working lap number two next time by here in the Forever 51 Challenge. Oh, contact into the right corner. Bo Slay is Jeffrey Gunn. He's going to drop some spots now. Here goes Tucker Bird. Tucker Bird to the inside in the 112. He's going to take a peek. Bo Slay pulls it back out, though, in the 51 car. Tucker Bird right there in the 112. Then comes the 0-1 car now, goes to third place. That's Jason Garver. Gaunt now, he drops back to the number four spot. Kevin Durden still there in the 33. Here comes the 0-9 car, Johnny Pinnell. Outside Travis Marsh in the 7P. Caution though to the speedway. We got a car stopped up in turn two there by the exit road. Car number 11 coming to a stop. Shannon Fletcher out of Van Cleve, Mississippi. Stopping up there by the wall, bringing out a caution. Bo Slay maintaining out front. Tucker Bird there with a challenge, though, on that last restart. In that number two spot, that 112 car hooked up this weekend. Had an awesome race. Put on a heck of a show last night. And his heat race win sets there in the number two spot. 0-1-S, the Jason Garver car. Sets in the third spot right there. 43, Gaunt loses a spot, had some contact with the 51 on that last restart. We do have two laps complete, two complete. late model drivers, you need to start being ready for lineup. 6.04 drivers, start preparing for lineup for your feature. Here we go, lights out. 51 setting them back to the green. Watch them, here we go. And the 0-1 car, he's got to run. Jason Garver on the outside. Can he make it stick? Oh, Tucker Burr, here he comes. He's got to run on that inside. He's taking a peek on the 51, he's there. He's got it in the low groove. Tucker Burr, he's going to go to the lead in the 112 car. Tucker Bird out front here in the Forever 51. He goes by Bo Slay to take the position. And the 0-1 car, Garver, he sets third, got still fourth. And we got Pinnell in the battle back there with Kevin Durden in the 33 for the top five positions. Here we go, what a battle, little contact there between the 51-112. Here comes Bo Slay back. He's to the inside. Tucker Bird sets up on the outside. Tucker's gonna settle back in. He'll go single file, Bo Slay back to the lead here in the front straightaway. And the 0-9 took a look under the 43 of God. He shuts the door on him though. He'll stay back in that fifth spot. We got a battle back here in the field. Three, four wide down that back straightaway on the back inside of the field. Bo Slay now settles it in the first. Tucker Bird second. Then comes the 0-1, Jason Garver. Jeffrey Gaunt, Kevin Durden, 33 car right there. Caution on the speedway. We got one up by the wall in turn two. It's the 114. 
and he takes it off the speedway. That will do it in for him tonight. That is Chad Denmark in the 114. After working his way into the race tonight in the B main, he is off of the speedway. Slay still leads the way. Tucker Bird had a great run there with the challenge. Getting out front there for a lap in the 112 machine. Top five, top six cars staying pretty consistent right there. It is Bo Slay, Tucker Bird, Jason Garver, Jeffrey Gaunt, Kevin Durden in the fifth spot, Johnny Pinnell in the 09, Dustin Ladner in the 01, Travis Marsh, seven car, Chad Robinson, Ninth, Brian Berger bumping up into the top 10 in the 121. All right, drivers have to choose here. 112 is going to stay to the low side in row two. One to go signal here at the strike. Looks like the three car pulls down for service on the pit exit road. Blake McNeil down there on the pit road in the number three car had some severe damage looked like on that right rear. Not sure he's gonna make it out. Looks like he's not. Here we go, green flag back to the speedway. Tucker Bird's gonna hold on to the second spot. He settles in behind Bo Slay, 0-1 car. Jason Garver, he's still right there in that third spot. Now we got a battle for the fourth spot. Johnny Pinnell in that 09 car takes a look to the outside of the 43 of Gaunt. He'll settle it back in now. Top five stays the same. Travis Marsh, he's trying to make that outer groove stick to see if he can get some forward movement here in that seven car. Dustin Ladner, Chad Robinson set back there in the top 10 as well. And they're pretty much single file. And this track's gonna start getting really dry slick. So we're gonna start playing some tire games here towards the end of the race. Who can conserve and take care of it? We'll see how this works out. Front drivers here pushing it pretty hard. Bo Slay now, Tucker Bird right there, still behind. We got the seven car, Travis Marsh. Gonna take it. Oh, Marsh slow, we got him spun around here in two. Caution on the speedway, caution. Travis Marsh pulling off onto the pit road in the seven car. All right, both of those cars will go to the tail of the field. John Victor and Stephanie Cooper being involved in that crash. They go to the tail. Travis Marsh off of the speedway to the pit road in the seven car.
Dry, slick racetracks work on tires. We'll see who can weather this thing through for 51 laps. All right, lineup's good. We're going to get them double stacked here, Gil. Get ready to bring them back here to the green. getting some debris removed up there in turn number three out of that top side. Just noticing the damage there on Josh Howell's number five car there on the right hand side. Body panels all pushed in. All right, we do have 10 complete out of the 51, 10 laps complete. Here we go, lights out, gonna come back to the green. 10 down. Forty-one laps to go to see who brings home the big money and trophy tonight here in the Forever 51 race. Green flag back to the speedway. Here we go. Tucker Bird setting up behind Bo Slay. And we got a run on that top side now. Out of the 0-1 car, Jason Garver. He's been pretty consistent right there in that third spot. Now we got a battle fourth and fifth place. Johnny Pinnell and the Gaunt car, 43. Here comes Chad Robinson. Robinson now, he's going back up to that top side. That car's been hooked up there all weekend. He's got the run. Oh, the door shut on him. He closes in on that back bumper of the 09. But here comes Chad Robinson working that outer groove. Trying to make up a position here. And he does. He goes around the 09. Can he make it last up there? We'll see. Oh, well, we got the 45. Spins in two. 41 around. Two car around. And caution here to the speedway. Chris Hartman with the spin bringing out that caution as he collects some of the other cars. Chris Hartman back under power here. He'll go to the tail of the field and he's credited with one spin as he goes around on his own. Slay still maintaining that top spot out front, 51 car. Tucker Bird, though, staying very consistent right there in that second spot. All right, 
right, track officials here checking the lineup here with the scoring system. Here we go, one to go signal to the field. We got 12 complete, 12 laps. Here we go, coming back to the green. Bo Slay still out front. He'll set us back to pace. Tucker Bird, he's got another good start here in the 112. And that 01 car. Garver back to that top side. Seeing if he can get a better run up there. Here he comes, he pulls beside Tucker Bird. Challenging for that number two spot. Here comes the 43 now, back to his inside, gone. And the 43 now, trying to move into the third spot. Chad Robinson still on the move back there in the 10 car, working that outer groove. Bo Slay stays clean out front. We come back lap number 15 right there complete. 15 out of the 51. Very clean racing going on here so far. We've got some cars with some damage, but 30 cars out there on the track. You're going to have some of that. Here we go back to the stripe again. 16 down, 16 down. Bo Slay, Tucker Bird now starting to get some breathing room between the rest of the field. Top two moving on away here. 43 gaunt now. He goes back to the number three spot. Then you've got Kevin Durden in the 33, Johnny Pinnell's 09, Dustin Ladner up to the number seven spot in the 01. And Ladner now works his way around the 10 of Chad Robinson.
And caution on the speedway, 45 around, two car around also. In turn two, that to bring out a caution here. 22 laps in, 22 laps complete. All right, setting 22 laps in, 22 complete here. All right, one to go signal here at the strike. 22 laps complete, Bo Slay maintaining that top spot. Tucker Bird running in the number two spot. Jeffrey Gaunt running third, then comes Jason Garver in the 0-1. 33, Kevin Durden in your top five. Number six spot is the 09, Johnny Pinnell, Dustin Ladner in the 01 set seventh, Chad Robinson in the number eight spot, Wyatt Parker up to the number nine spot now. Whoa, contact! Johnny Pinnell loses some spots in that 09 car. Tucker Bird back to the back bumper now. Here goes Bird taking a look. He's going to try to make a challenge here. All right, caution on the speedway, caution. Got some debris on the speedway, 09 car, Pinnell, he is having a great run. He pulls down here on the low side of the speedway by the exit road. These drivers have a fuel break coming. This is going to take place since we're at lap 24 with a caution. They're going to stop, have a team member come and fuel their cars. Fuel stop coming right here. They're going to pull down. Team members, if you can hear us from the tower down there, fuel stop coming, fuel stop coming. The crew is going to get to come out and put the fuel in the cars.
right, this is just a fuel stop, fuel stop only from the teams. Teams, two minutes, two minutes. All right, everybody on the track that's not doing something, please exit the speedway. Back to the infield. If you're not doing something with the car, exit the speedway. One minute, one minute. If you're done, exit the speedway back to pits. Exit back to the pit exit road. Okay, that does it right there. Cut off. Everybody off of the cars. Everybody off the cars. Everybody off the track, off of the track. Do not touch a car. Off of the speedway. I got the winning ticket number for the 50-50 while it's quiet. Winner tonight, $1,228 is your take. Yellow ticket number, 452 452-899. $1,228. If you have that ticket number, bring it to the tower, please. Please bring the ticket to the tower. If you have that winning ticket on the 50-50, please bring it up to the tower. We need to verify that number and get you your money.
right, one to go signal. We're gonna come back to the green next time. 24 complete, we'll be working 25 next time. All right, they're stacking them up right here, getting ready to go back green. Bo Slay, he'll set them back to pace. Tucker Bird in second, then comes Jeffrey Gaunt in the third spot. Here we go. Tires have cooled down a little bit there when them stopped. Here goes the 0-1 car. He goes up underneath. He goes to third. Dustin Ladner on the move. Here comes Chad Robinson in the 10 car. Dustin Ladner up to the third spot. Chad Robinson now, he goes to the top five. Some of these drivers gonna start getting racy here as we close in on the end laps. Halfway, cross flags. Halfway here in the Forever 51 Memorial Race. And they're gonna work back around right here. And caution is out, caution is out. Ron Hill in the 72 car goes around bringing out the caution. On lap 26. We have a winner for the 50-50. Congratulations. Kathy Downey, Satsuma, Alabama, is the winner tonight of the $1,228. Congratulations, Kathy Downey, Satsuma. Here we go, green flag, back to the speedway. Got some cars now working their way towards the front. Dustin Ladner, oh, 24, Stephen Fretwell, slow here in the front straightaway. He pulls it down to the low side, very slow. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it. We may have a caution coming here. He's still moving, still moving. Long as he keeps moving, we'll stay green here because he's down on that low side. He's trying to get it to the exit road. Stephen Fretwell, tough break there. For the Florida drivers, he's gonna pull it off to the exit road. Leader, Bo Slade, Tucker Bird, he's still right there. And the 43 car, he makes his way back around Dustin Ladner. And here comes the 10 car, Chad Robinson. He's gonna challenge Ladner, still working in that upper groove. On that outside, trying to make the pass. Ladner, Robinson, battling for that fourth, fifth spot. <clears throat> Rest of the field, single foul. Tucker Bird still right there in the number two spot. Keeping the pressure on the 51.
Chad Robinson, he's to the fourth spot now. Dustin Ladner, fifth. Jerry Gaunt. Jeffrey Gaunt holding on to that third spot in the 43 car. Top two now starting to break away from the field. Uh oh, 43 car slips up off of two. Here comes Chad Robinson. He's on the outside in the 10 car. Robinson looking to go to the third spot. And he makes the pass here on the front straightaway. Chad Robinson. Mobile, Alabama driver goes to third. Oh, here comes Jeffrey Gaunt. He slipped up off a of two. And the 43 car now back to his inside. We got a couple of cars over here, 45. With some contact, they stay clean though, we stay green. Whoa, 45, 25, going around. Josh Howell on pit road getting a tire change here on the five car as he pulls off. He'll have to go to the tail of the field. And that caution charge to the R25 as he'll go to the back end of the field as well. Team car now pulls off onto the exit road as well. Looks like the right front down on that car. And Josh Howell with the tire change. Here he comes back. Heavy damage to the right side of that car.
All right, here we go, lights out. 34 complete out of the 51. Bo Slade still leading the way here. Tucker Bird with a strong second run, second place run here. And look at the newcomer here to the outside, Chad Robinson. In the 10 car, he's going to challenge up now. He's in the third spot. He gets around Jeffrey Gunt and goes to number three. Here come some cars. Billy Walker charging hard on that inside. Back there in the 41, he moves up another spot. fans we trying to watch through the field here but one of the drivers that's come from the back he's up to seventh billy walker in the 41 car into the number seven spot from the tail of the field We got 35 complete, 16 laps to go, 16 to go here in the 51 lap feature tonight. Bo Slay maintaining that top spot. Tucker Bird, consistent run there in the number two spot, keeping the pressure. On the 51, Chad Robinson working his way towards the front of the 10 car. He's up to the third spot. Jeffrey gone. He's been consistent right there in the 43 car. Stays in the fourth spot. Jason Garver right there in the top five all night in the 0-1 car. Kevin Durden as well in the 33. The man on the move, though, Billy Walker. Billy Walker in the 41. Up to the seventh spot from the tail of the field.
All right, here we go, lights out. 35 complete, 16 to go to decide the big win here tonight. Bo Slay's been consistent out front. Tucker Bird right there. Watch Chad Robinson. Billy Walker in that 41 car. Here they go, coming back to the green. And the 10 car, Chad Robinson now takes a look outside Tucker Bird. We got a caution though coming. Car slow up in two. Car slow in turn two. Six oh four late models, you should be lined up for your feature. Six oh four drivers, you should be lined up in turn four. All right, here we go, one to go signal, give it to the field here. Still sitting on 35 laps, 35 complete. And Owen Barnhill goes around here in the B24 car. Josh Howell with the contact in the five car to the 24. All right, five car, Josh Howe will go into the tail of the field with the contact. On to the 24.
All right, track officials working through some call situation here. But the 24 team has went to the track officials on the infield. He's got transmission problems. They said that that was not the five car's fault for the turn. So the five car will go back to his position. Josh Howell gonna be sent back to his spot. Here we go, one to go signal right here. Coming back to the green next time. green flag back to the speedway coming back to lap 36 this time Chad Robinson back to the outside of Tucker Bird taking a look we got one slow down the back straightaway and he's going to make the exit turn we stay green whoa we got a spinner Billy Walker around James Woods going to the tail of the field for the contact. He took out the 41 car. James Woods going to the back. 41 to the back of the field also though. 41 will be in the back. He was involved. He does not get his spot back.
Black flag on the 41, he is done for the night.
over at the car. Coming down to one to go right here, one to go. We're sitting on 36 complete, working to the 51. Bo Slay maintains that top spot. Here we go, lights out. We'll set it back to the green. Bo Slay leads the way. Tucker Bird in the number two spot. We're back racing. Chad Robinson on the outside. And here's your leader, Bo Slay, working back. Look, 37 laps complete, 37 complete.
back. Bo Slay now with a little breathing room over Tucker Bird, Chad Robinson. Here at the strike. That is 40 laps complete. We've got 11 to go, 11 laps to go. Ten laps to go. Ten to go here, working down the back straightaway. Caution on the speedway. We got cars off, stopped over at four. Cars off pace, stopped in turn four. Bringing out the caution here, 42 complete. laps to go, nine laps to go here to the win. All right, here we go, lights out, coming to the green here, Bo Slay setting us back to pace. Here we go, Chad Robinson sets to the outside of Tucker Bird. Whoa, we got him stacking up in that middle part of the field. Thirty-three car goes around. Kevin Durden spins over in one and two, gonna bring out the caution. Thirty-three car going to pull it off on the pit exit road. Kevin Durden, he's been in the top ten all night. Tough break there for the thirty-three driver.
All right, here we go. Coming back to the green right here. 43 complete. Eight laps to go. Eight laps to go. Dustin Ladner going to take a look now. Under Billy Walker, here they come back. And now the 43 car goes to the third spot. He gets under Chad Robinson. Billy Walker taking a look too. On that low side, he's underneath the 10 car looking to make a move up to the top. Robinson still up there. And five laps to go right here. Five laps to go in the feature. Caution on the speedway, cars around at one and two. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway, 25S Woods stopped here and then turn two.
And they're going to put the hook on James Woods. Looks like something in that right front broke. Car sitting down. They're going to take him off the speedway. Here we go, lights out, 47 complete. Four laps to go, four laps shoot out here. Bo Slay trying to get it done from that top spot. Tucker Bird right there in the 112. Jeffrey Gaunt been very consistent in the 43 car. Billy Walker sets there in the fourth spot. Here we go, Chad Robinson in the 10 car, your top five. complete we're coming to two to go this time two laps to go right here white and yellow well we got debris over in turn one caution on the speedway Burr down to the low side. Bo Slay shuts the door. Oh, we got one around us, the 43 car, gone. Caution on the speedway. All right. 
right, we did not complete a lap. Still setting at 48. Got debris here on the front straightaway. Track crews are going to get off right in the middle of the track. We'll come back to two to go right here. White and yellow fixing to be displayed to your leader, Bo Slay. Tucker Bird still in the number two spot. White flag, white flag. Slay in the 51 car, Tucker Bird second, Billy Walker in the third spot. 43 car, Jeffrey Gunt and Dustin Latner, your top five. Give it up for him as he comes off turn four. He is your winner tonight in the Chandler Shaw car. 51, Bo Slay picks up the win. Tucker Bird, great run there in the 112, holds on to the number two spot. Giving up Bo Slay right here as he'll come down the front straightaway.
Rock fans that are down here. He's got a big fan base right here to celebrate this win. Give it up, Bo Slay. Come here, Bo Slay. These fans want to hear from you. I think you bring to here, aren't you? Man, I don't know if I, I can do this. Man, Chandler Shaw, he's the man. That right there is the baddest pure stock in the world, man. Fans, I'm going to tell you, this thing is hard. Let me tell you right here, he has just drove his tail off. Congratulations, but hey, your buddy's looking down on you here tonight, man. Man, there ain't no doubt. So many things happened this week. 51 on a, on a ticket. We bought some food. 51 Thursday. I filled up my truck. It was 51.50. I don't know, man. There's so many people that make this happen. Chandler built the baddest pure stock car there is. Uh, I wish he could be here. I wish it was him down here in Victory Lane. I don't even know what to say. I love that man. I love all these people. They weren't all my family, but they are now. Chandler Shaw brought every one of us together. And man, I just, I miss him. I miss him every fucking day. There you go, folks. Hey, give it up right here, Bo Slay. Hey, Bo. And the most important 51 is 51. Man, it ain't even about the money. Man, I got to thank my wife. I've been in the shop for two weeks straight. Cameron's Goldsworthy, Calvin Cook, Joe Richburg, Little Girl Fowl, Tina. I mean, uh, I got Mr. Billy, Little Goofy. But he does the best he can. The surface was, you know, it was definitely better than it was last year. Awesome facility. Man, I got to thank Jones Pulleys, Penske Racing Shocks, Modern Images, Slade Mobile Home Service, Rich Bird Transmission, Clements House of Power. Uh, I don't know. I'm speechless, man. I, I, I hope he'd be proud of this. I know he'd be proud of my qualifying lap. I kind of I struggled there in the feature, but uh, we got to go. And Tucker Bird, man, I wasn't a big Tucker Bird fan, but he raised me clean. I roughed him up a little bit. If Tucker ever needs anything, I got something for him. I mean, I, I owe him one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, man, thank y'all for coming out. Horns up, baby. Hey, give it up for him, folks. He is your champ tonight. Bring it on up there, fan club. Celebrate this win. We gotta clear this. We gotta get two more features to go. Guess what? Bo Slate climb in this car right here and go again.
All right, here we go. Line up for your 604 late models. The man that just won the challenge race is on the pole position for the 604 late model race. Bo Slay goes to his number two. 604 late model. And starting beside him is going to be the 96 DG Hawkins out of Chunchula, Alabama. Row two, Stephen Jernigan out of Milton, Florida. Chase Cooper out of Perkinston, Mississippi in the 27C. Row three will be the 99, Tim Anderson out of Pensacola, Florida. And the 27, Joey Pilgrim out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Row four, the 99R, Ryan Boudreaux. He's out of Henry, Louisiana. And the 47, James Gilmore. He's out of Milton, Florida. Row five is the 63, Blake Martin. And the 2021, John Joyner. Row six will be the 27P, Ty Pilgrim. And the 85, Kyle Bryant. All right, here we go, one to go signal here for your 604s. Modified, UMP Modifieds, we need you turn four, ready to go. Modifieds, turn four. Bo Slay, DG Hawkins gonna bring it to the green. 15 laps here in the 604 late models. Watch them all four, green flag flies, we're racing. And here we go, Steven Jernigan. He's gonna make the big move. We got a caution, car spins, turn. Number one and two, caution on the speedway, no start. All right, caution coming out. That was John Joyner. John Joyner with the spin. We'll get him restacked here for complete restart. And here we go, green flag to the speedway. DG Hawkins with a good run this time, keeping the pressure down on the two car. And another spin in one and two here, bringing out the caution, no start.
All right, non-qualifier feature coming up next. Non-qualifier feature coming up next. Slay leads the way here in the two car. D.G. Hawkins running second. Steven Jernigan third. Tim Anderson. Ryan Boudreaux, the Louisiana driver, in the top five. Blake Martin. In the 63, he gets around. Ryan Boudreaux, Blake Martin now goes to the number five spot. And we are halfway, halfway here in the 604 late model feature. Bo Slay out front trying to do the sweep here tonight. And Blake Martin now trying to make the move underneath Tim Anderson for position. to go, two to go here at the start finish line. Working the last lap here, white flag lap. Bo Slay now into turn three. He's going to be smooth off of three, four. He's going to do the sweep tonight in the two car. Picking up the 604 late model feature win and the Pure Stock Factory Stock Challenge event tonight. Great job, D.G. Hawkins over there giving him a congratulations. Great run there out of the 96 car as well. Bo Slay, the man tonight. All right, non-qualifiers, non-qualifiers. Last call for you guys to race your race, your feature race. the helmets off he's going to come out and celebrate one more time here get ready 
Bo Slay pulling off the sweep tonight. Waiting on him to exit the car. Here he comes, folks. Bo Slay, he's out with another win tonight. Give it up for him. He's on the roof right there. He picks up the 604 late model win tonight to top it off. fans one more time where he can hear you give it up Bo Slay the man to beat tonight here at Deep South Speedway pulling off the sweep he is your champ in the 604 late model and the pure stock factory stock challenge champion tonight as well congratulations going out to Bo Slay and his team Coming up next, this is a non-qualifiers feature. This is some of the cars that did not make it in that wanted to still participate in a last chance feature here for the night. So they will be coming here to the Speedway. Not sure how many we're going to have. But they are lining up. And then to close out the night, we've got the UMP Modifieds.
Robin Mixon leading the way. Wesley King right there in the number two spot. Brandon Thomas in the 77. Kyle Lewis in the 7J. Brandon Harris in the 21 car. And the 99 car now making the pass, going to the lead. Coming to the cross flags, halfway, halfway right here, given to Wesley King. Three laps to go, three to go here to close it out. the 99 Wesley King going to come across here he's going to get the white flag right there white flag Wesley King, your winner here in the 99 car. Your winner now, Wesley King, going to park it up in the Pittman Tractor Victory Lane Circle. on the driver to exit the car here for pictures with the flag and checkboard Wesley King the Seminole Alabama driver Morton Motorsports number 99 there he comes give it up for him Wesley King Coming up here to close out our show will be the UMP Modifieds setting on the grid ready to go. <laughs> All 
God, give it up for him one more time where he can hear you, Wesley King. Winner in the 99. All right, here's your starting lineup for the UMP Modifieds. Pole position, it's the triple seven out of Robertsdale, Alabama Buster Foley. Row one on the outside, it's gonna be the 6C, Rusty Cooper. Row two, he's out of Panama City, Florida, car 72, Todd Neheiser. And to his outside, it's the young gun, Mississippi driver number 45, Chase Holland. Row three, out of Gulf Shores, Alabama, in that 75 car, keep your eye on him, Joey Moxley. And the Pace Florida driver to his outside, car number six, Ryan Fowler. Row four, it's going to be the Lakeland, Florida driver, David Poland, in the number 88 car. And the Lynn Haven, Florida driver, number 17, Michael Clayton. Row five, Eli Williams out of Alberta, Alabama, number 59. And the number two, Sean Pierce out of Pace, Florida. Row number six is going to be the 33, Nathan Ingersoll. And Dylan Ushery in the 71 car. Number one, Justin Littlefield out of Loosedale, Mississippi. And the 54, Cameron Williams out of Leakesville, Mississippi. And the 85, Micah Ladner, Wiggins, Mississippi. All right, watch him here off of turn four. Buster Foley, Rusty Cooper, green flag waves. Rusty Cooper, 45 car, Chase Holland, Chase to the low side. And he's going to go to the top spot. 45, Chase Holland. Ryan Fowler now underneath Buster Foley. Todd Deheiser settles into third. Ryan Fowler goes to fourth. Buster Foley in the fifth spot. And Ryan Fowler on the move up to the third spot in the sixth car. Chase Holland though, the young gun. He comes to the caution. Caution on the speedway. We got three cars around in turn three and four. All right, the 88 is involved, 17. And Todd Neheiser in the 72 car involved. Todd Neheiser, some damage. He's going to pull down onto the exit road.
Chase Holland, your leader out front. Delaware restart here. We got two complete out of the 15. Rusty Cooper, Ryan Fowler. They'll start side by side in the battle of the sixes, row two. Here we go, green flag, back to the speedway. Rusty Cooper takes a look under the 45. Chase Holland, he'll pull him down the back straightaway. Back out to the lead, six car still there. He takes a look on the inside. Chase Holland, though, back to the point. And we got cars around in one and two. Caution on the speedway. Caution will come out. Nathan Ingersoll going to the tail of the field. He's actually going to pull off. Green flag back to the speedway. Ryan Fowler goes around. A little bit of contact there. Chase Holland, your leader. Rusty Cooper go to the inside. Buster Foley working his way back towards the front. He's in the third spot now. Ryan Fowler will go to the tail of the field after the spin. Coming back to the green flag. Chase Holland, Rusty Cooper. And here comes the 71 car. Dylan Ushery. Caution on the speedway, though. We got a spring. Spring off of a race car. Turn number one.
All right, still sitting on three complete here. Lights out, coming back to the green. Chase Holland sets the pace. Here we go. Rusty Cooper, Buster Foley. Joey Moxley on the move now. And we got spins over in one and two once again. Ryan Fowler involved in the six car. All right, still sitting on three complete here. Lights out, coming back to the green. Chase Holland sets the pace. Here we go. Rusty Cooper, Buster Foley. Joey Moxley on the move now. And we got spins over in one and two once again. Ryan Fowler involved. Here we go, green flag back to the speedway. Rusty Cooper got to run to the low side. He sets up down low to Chase Holland. Rusty Cooper, he's going to go to the lead. Chase Holland goes around up in the top side. He keeps it going, but caution comes to the speedway. And here we go, green flag. Rusty Cooper, your new leader. Buster Foley into the number two spot. Here comes Joey Moxley. Buster slips up the hill. Ryan Fowler around again in the six car. And that is going to take Ryan Fowler out of the race with two unassisted spins on his own. He will be eliminated from the race. All right, lights out, here we go. Still sitting on three laps complete. Rusty Cooper leads the way. Buster Foley. Oh, two car goes around. Sean Pierce. And 
And that is the second unassisted spin on the two car. He will be eliminated from the race. Rusty Cooper leading the way. Buster Foley in the second spot. Joey Moxley now up to third. Moxley going to take a look under the triple seven. And Joey Moxley, he works that low side. He's going to make the pass. He moves to the number two spot. Seven car gets sideways into the 88, spins here in the front straightaway. And your leader coming back to the stripe six car Rusty Cooper. Joey Moxley trying to reel him in. Moxley closing it up here in the 75 car. We're going to have us a battle here for the top spot. He's catching up to Rusty Cooper. Dylan Ushery, good run up to the third spot in the 71 car. 72, Neheiser back on the move up to the fourth spot. Then comes the 88, David Pollen, the Lakeland, Florida driver. He's got Chase Holland to his inside, though. Chase Holland, he'll take the spot. And we got a spinner, number one car goes around in turn number two. Justin Littlefield, car one with the spin.
All right, eight laps complete here. Coming back to the green, Rusty Cooper, Joey Moxley, Dylan Ussery, Todd Neheiser, Chase Holland, your top five. Eleven laps, eleven laps complete, four to go. Rusty Cooper leads the way, Joey Moxley there. Here comes Chase Holland. He sticks it in underneath Dylan Ussery, trying to work his way back to a top three. And he goes to the third spot in the 45. Two laps to go to close out tonight. And here comes Rusty Cooper off of turn four. He's going to get the white flag. One lap to go. One to go. And here he goes. Here comes Chase Holland trying to challenge up to second. But Rusty Cooper, he's going to get the win tonight here in the UMP Modifieds to close out our program. Joey Moxley, Chase Holland, they'll round out your top three. Dylan Ushery and Todd Neheiser, your top five. And we'll wait on the sixth car to make his way back around and park it up in the Pittman tractor. Victory lane tonight with the Sauche Mississippi driver 6C Rusty Cooper is your winner here in the UMP Modifieds. And there he goes, he'll park it up in victory lane here. We'll wait on the driver to come out. And we wait on the driver here to exit the car here to celebrate the win here. Final race of the night here in the Forever 51 weekend show. Here he comes, folks, right there. Give it up for him. Rusty Cooper. Your winner here in the UMP Modifieds tonight. He's going to come around there and get the picture here now with the checkboard. Well, race fans, we hope you enjoyed the show. Please drive carefully. Hope to see you out back here on May 23rd will be our next race night. One more time for him where he can hear you. Give it up for Rusty Cooper.